Today I'm talking about the craft supplies that I look for when I am at the thrift store to save money on my crafts and hobbies. This video is brought to you by our Dining on a Dime cookbook. We have quick and easy recipes your family will love to help you get in and out of the kitchen fast. Please visit us at livingonadime.com. It's 25% off now. All right, the first thing, my thrift store has 50% off day. So I go every Saturday, everybody gets 50% off. Every Tuesday, 60 or older gets 50% off. I think I'm going to start identifying as 60 years old. What do you think? Here are some of the things that I love to look for at the craft store. First, bags for carrying all your craft supplies in. So if you're a knitter or embroidery, that kind of thing, you usually have a bag to carry with you. The thrift store has tons of bags that will work. You don't have to buy something fancy. And a lot of times you'll find things with lots of pockets and zippers and that kind of thing that will work really well for your sewing items, but you can spend a dollar or two instead of 20 or $30 that they originally cost. Mason jars. Now, if you're a candle maker, you could look for mason jars, pots, pans, crock pots to melt your candles in there. Candle wicks. I have found entire candle sets. So candle making is a hobby that some people do. You can find all kinds of things at the thrift store for your candle making. If you make soap, you can look for pots, pans, utensils, plastic bowls, that kind of thing. Now be careful because this plastic bowl I found at the dollar or I found at the thrift store for three dollars, but it's a dollar at Dollar Tree. I know because I have the same bowl is the exact same bowl. So be careful when you're buying things at the thrift store that you know the prices and that you are actually getting a good deal. Organizing containers. There are all kinds of organizing containers for your scrapbooking, your thread, your needles, all those types of things. You can get organizing containers at the thrift store for a fraction of the price. Beads and dye and stamps. Fancy crayons, yarn, tons and tons of yarn. Patterns, they had all kinds of patterns. They had cross stitch patterns, they had knitting patterns, they had crochet patterns, all kinds of patterns. Ribbons, tons and tons of ribbons. If you do um, quilting, they had quilt batting. They also have blankets so that you could use a blanket for your quilt batting instead of buying quilt batting. Think of that next time you go to make a quilt, it might be cheaper to go buy a used blanket, bring it home and wash and dry it and use that as the center of your quilt than quilt batting. If it's not something, you know, that's really special. I know quilters kind of get a little testy about that. Sorry guys if I suggested it, but it can be done. And that's what grandma used to do was she would use old blankets for the center of her quilts. They have all kinds of books on how to learn crafts. Pick them up, start something new, try something different. And you've only, you've only lost 50 cents if you think you don't like it or don't want to try it. They have all kinds of cute furniture. I found this little chair and it would have been so cute to sand down and repaint for my kids when they were little. So I would look for things like this and I would repaint them. These dressers. I mean, I did all of my furniture was used. All of it was used and 99% of it, I brought it home and repainted. So you can do your crafting if you like painting things or fixing up chairs, furniture, that kind of thing. You can do that for a fraction of the cost. I spent $20 on my kitchen table and chairs that I absolutely love and painted those. So look for different furnitures that you can paint. You can even resell them. I know a lot of people who resell them a lot. Just different decorations in general. So if I'm decorating for like my Easter tree here, <laughs> I got these flowers at the thrift store for this year's Easter tree. I think I got these guys, whoops, right there. I think I got these rabbits here at the thrift store. This one I got at, at Dollar Tree. But you get different decorations for decorating. And then you don't have to feel guilty if you get tired of them and you just want something different. I don't feel guilty when I think, oh, I'm tired of looking at this. I want to get something new. I just go and get something new and take it 
my old stuff back to the thrift store. For a dollar, I'm not out anything. I look for these little buckets for either flower arrangements or my garden, or I store my pens and pencils or paint brushes or knitting, or not knitting, crochet needles. All those kinds of things could be stored in these cute little galvanized buckets. I look for flowers. I am a florist, so I do lots of flower arranging. So I will go to the thrift store and get flowers for half the price of the dollar store. I'll get them for 50 cents at the dollar store, but compared to Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I get them for 50 cents versus three or four dollars for a bunch. So I save a lot of money doing flower arranging with thrift store finds. Picture frames. I'm always swapping in and out picture frames. And not like, I'll take this picture frame and what would I do? I would paint it, or maybe not paint it, I kind of like it like it is, hang it outside and put a plant on the wall, hang it on the wall in the picture frame. I would put a picture inside the picture frame. I would use it to display my grandma's um, kitchen utensils, anything like that. I could do any of those things with picture frames. So I love looking for cool old picture frames. Weird things like chopsticks and silicone baking things. You never know, like a silicone baking mat or silicone uh, muffin tin, you could put your hot glue gun on that so that it doesn't burn your table. Like the chopsticks, I use chopsticks when I'm doing something like with hot glue and I don't want my fingers to get too close. I'll push whatever on with something like a chopstick or something like that so that I don't slip and burn myself, which I'm known for doing. <laughs> So just look at the unusual things because those will be a fraction of the cost of buying them brand new at the store. These chopsticks were $1.99, so they would have been $1 at the thrift store on sale. I think they're normally $5 at the store, three to $5, somewhere around there. So I would have saved you know, a significant amount of money just getting them at the thrift store. So I have no problem if they're still sealed in the bag. I mean, what difference does it make? So guys, Look at the thrift store for your crafts and garage sales. You can find tons and tons of really good craft supplies and save a lot of money on your crafts. You really don't have to spend a lot of money on your crafts. Please visit us at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next time.